Hi, I'm Mark Almazio. I'm the director and co-writer of The Last White Man. Today I want to talk to you about some DIY gear that we've made over the years and how it's helped us grow as filmmakers. So what we've built here you can see is a, a dolly. It's made out of plywood, skateboard wheels, uh, and aluminum angle iron. A sheet of three quarter inch plywood cut in half and doubled for weight. It's big enough that the operator and camera with the tripod at its full footprint can fit. And you put it down here on these PVC pipe and it will roll along. So PVC pipe comes in 10 foot lengths. Our dolly is uh, about four feet long. So that means on one 10 foot length, we can get about a six foot move. So we decided for Say Something, we wanted to buy a second set of pipes so we could have 20 feet of PVC pipe, which would give us a 16 foot move. To connect them, we bought these smaller uh, pieces of PVC and just taped some painter's tape around the center. That fits nice and snug into the PVC pipe and you just connect them. So this dolly we found plans for online. I'm sure you can Google DIY dolly and find something similar. The next two designs are things that we came up with on our own. So these are DIY light panels that we made for our feature film, Something Better Comes Along. It's basically just a little piece of scrap 2x4, some LED uh, light bars that we bought at Home Depot. I think they were, they were less than 10 bucks each. And a little quarter 20 thread that we put into the bottom so you can put it on a light stand. Basically, you know, you can turn each light on. You can see you're not getting that much light out of these. But when you're on location and it's dark and you don't have any access to power, these really helped us out in those situations. There are obviously, there's some problems with them where each individual light bar has a different color temperature. To be honest, these days, light panels you can get for pretty cheap on Amazon that, uh, that work really well just as, as well, pretty much as the expensive ones. So this is the kind of thing you wouldn't really need anymore. But if you're really strapped, can really help out. So this is our latest creation. This is a car mount made mostly out of scrap wood. The only thing we bought when we made this was these threaded rods, nuts and bolts, and these uh, little paint rollers that we use as pads so we don't scratch the car. Uh, so what you do is we have right here, we have a, a two by six and a piece of, I believe half inch plywood. You can put your tripod head right in there you screw it in tripod head here camera on top now I recommend if you do something like this you want to ratchet strap the the camera down tie it off everything just anything you can do to make sure your camera's not falling off we've had pretty good success with this we used it on the sizzle reel for the last white man you can see those shots of Carl driving his car we're all done with this and I, it looks really good. You wouldn't know the difference between this and a professional hostess truck. Throughout the years, part of our growth as filmmakers has involved using our own ingenuity to solve problems. So it's, it's not about the gear, it's about getting the shot you need as cheaply and efficiently as possible. And part of that has been building, building this gear when we haven't had money to buy or rent anything else. But it's also taught us to think outside the box and to do as best we can with whatever we have. And I think that'll help us going forward on The Last White Man and any other projects we have. 